Happy holidays, everyone. This is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for Find the Christmas Coordinates 1 from MassSalamanders.com. Even Captain Salamanders dressed up in his holiday gear. For this exercise, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be finding the coordinates of all these different items. So I'm going to show you how we go about doing that. Let's go ahead and get started. So number one, write down the coordinates of each of the items on the grid. Now you're probably going to wonder, so we got two spots here, which one goes where? So this is technically what's called your x-axis, and axis just means like a vertical line or a horizontal line, and this one is your y-axis, that's your vertical. So y controls the up and down, and the x controls the left and the right. Now the first number that's going to be listed is always the x, so the left and right gets listed first, and the up and down gets listed second. Let me draw this Y. All right, so this one gets listed second. So we're going to go ahead and try to find this Christmas tree first, and then we're going to try to find what coordinates match up to its location. So we're going to start always with the left and right one. You're going to start with this bottom row first. So let me show you right here. This bottom row first, and we're going to do is we're going to locate what number is it on? And it looks like it is on number five. So we're going to go ahead and write in a number five for our x coordinate. So that's five. And now for our y coordinate, that's where we look to the one to the side, the up and down one. And we're see what's even with it. And you see clearly the number seven. So that's its y coordinate. The second coordinate, the vertical coordinate is seven. So we're going to go down here and write seven. So that's what we're going to do with all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the sheep. Uh, I think that's what it is. <laughs> so right here, we're going to skip to number four. Oh, sorry, you see it is on the number four, but look, you don't see what number for the Y. So look here, right on the four, it's right here. So we know that's four, but what number for the Y? It doesn't look like one, but there is. There always has to be a number. In this case, it's zero. So if it's right on the x-axis on this bottom line here, then this is going to be a zero for the y. It doesn't go up at all, so it stays at zero. All right, let's find the candy cane next. We can see here it is on the 9 for the x, okay, up here, and then it's also on the 9 for the y. So this one's just going to be 9, 9. I'm going to write the vertical one first, actually, because I already had the blue. And now I write 9, 9 for my candy cane. Snowman is next, and you see for this one it is 8, 3. 8 for the right, and then 3 up. Let me actually jump over to the snowflake real fast. The reason why I want to do that is because we just got done with the lamb. That was 4, 0. And now the sheep. Okay, so the sheep, notice how it doesn't move to the right at all. So guess what we're going to write? We're going to write 0 for the x because it doesn't move to the right at all. And then we're going to write what its y coordinate is, and that's going to be 3. So 0, 3 is the snowflake. Now the holly leaf. Okay, the holly leaf is the next one that I'm going to do. I'm going to look for that one, and it looks like 2, 8. Again, I'm reading the bottom number first, and then the top number. So there's the 8, and then 2. So 2 goes first, and then the 8. We have a manger next. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and find the manger. We have 10, 6. Okay, oops, 10 comma 6. I'm just trying to do my Y coordinates in blue. Stay consistent. We have a star here, so the star is at 7 comma 10. And then last but not least, the reindeer, which is 3 comma 4. All right, and that is it. So we have all the coordinates listed. We are good to go and move on to question two. This one's going to be kind of cool. Use the clues to find the location of Santa's secret grotto. It is to the east of the holly leaf, but west of the star. Okay, so this is kind of fun. This is more like maps now. So maps are, use a very similar principle, but here you can see we have north, and this is going to be east. This is going to be south, and of course, the best one, west. Okay, so west is that way to the left, east is to the right, north is up, south is down. Okay, so it is to the east of the holly leaf, but west of the star. Okay, so west of the star would be to the left of the star. Okay, so let me get out a highlight. I'm going to kind of highlight the region that I think it's going to be in. Okay, so it's to the west of the star, but it's to the east of the holly leaf. Okay, so at the holly leaf, I'm going to stop, and I know it's anywhere in this area. Okay, so anywhere in this area. 
Okay, I'm going to narrow it down after my second clue. Okay, so that's my first clue. Second, it is to the north of the Christmas tree. So I'm looking at the Christmas tree here, and I see that I definitely uh, went too far. So I need to erase all of this, and anything north, that's the area I'm looking in. Okay, so I have this area. i got a couple locations it could still possibly be, so I haven't narrowed it down completely. And then it is a direct line northwest of the snowman. So we need to find the snowman and this direct line northwest. So here's north, here's west. Northwest would be in that direction. So let me go ahead and connect it. Okay, so it's in this direction. It is in a line, direct line of that. So it's got to be north of that Christmas tree. So I'm guessing that I have to put even the top of it. So let me narrow it down even more. And then I'm going to extend this line out. Okay, I'm going to make it even longer. All right, let me erase the whole thing. And then I'm going to extend it from the snowman. And it looks like I got the spot right here. Okay, this is the spot, direct line. And that is where Santa's Grotto is. So the coordinates of Santa's Grotto are 3, 8. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. 3, 8. Eight, and I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun doing this activity. I hope you did too. If you need any more help with any Math Salamanders worksheets, make sure to check out their website or check out my Math Salamanders playlist. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.